I think my my uh, third year or fourth year as a Jesuit, he was our vice superior, no? and uh, of course he was already a big figure among us, uh, almost like an iconic status really among us because of his, you know, uh, a prominent figure in the fight against the dictatorship. You know, he was exiled in Spain for a long time and did not come back until the Edsa Revolution. So, and so when he re he rejoined, he went back to the Philippines and resumed his uh, his uh, ministry as a Jesuit. No? So he was made uh, superior among our. It's a young uh, community of young Jesuits. No? And uh, of course, his uh, his ways are uh, are really. He was he has some kind of you know OCC Father Archie. Uh, very methodical and you know I was a beadle so every morning I would see him know well, what what would happen transpire during the day and he always has a long list of the things to do that he, he discusses with you and different concerns would have different colors of pens you have green you have blue <laughs> you have red no so so that he would remember very well no? so but uh, and of course, he was a patriot, really, and uh, he's involved also with politics. You know, and but for, for me, what really stands out is that beyond all this, you know, what people have said about him. You know, my personal experience, experience of him is a very loving and supporting, uh, supportive uh, superior. So he was my superior in the community, and later on, he was made provincial superior. Uh, so in my my first year as a superior, also in one house, of course, you know uh, the struggles of a young superior, but he was always supportive, you know, giving you encouraging words like that. Uh, so I remember him as a young Jesuit. My apostolate was with uh, laborers, you know, so I would often go to picket lines, and I remember him driving certainly more than more than, more than a couple of times. He would drive me in our old jeepney. Uh, our house had its, this jeepney. Na, no, na. So Father Archie, well dressed, you know, and he would drive me to the picket line. No? So that's how supportive he was. So, uh, and after he was, he, he he stepped down as provincial superior. So he kind of rejoined the ranks and 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 had spent his life since then teaching moral theology in. In Loyola School of Theology, you know? so uh, and again, very detailed instructions to his students, which the students kind of appreciated, really. Uh, and it can be, of course, be very demanding in terms of it, but uh, that's the way he conducted his classes. Father, um, so, Father Archie is remembered well for his fight against the dictator. What uh, lessons can Filipinos uh, learn from him? Uh, take away from his experience? Well, uh, he, he has really he, he, no doubt about it. Or, or what the experience that he went through revealed really a deep love for his country, you know? Uh, and uh, this love for his country never wavered. Uh, some of his political positions, we Jesuits did not agree very much with him, you know, but you cannot say of him that he did not love his country. You know? So, and that's how, you know, you have seen leaders who had come and then have gone, and kind of their commitment and their passion for their country kind of waned over the years. Father Archie, this same passion and zeal had remained with him to his last dying day.